And welcome to Healthcare Sucks, my friends. It's been a couple of days, hasn't it? Well, you might ask yourself what old Healthcare Sucks has been doing. Well, I might ask you. Guys, write in. I always put it down there in my email. Let me know what you guys have been doing for once. Because you know what? I am really curious what you guys been up to. As far as me, oh, I'm going to be putting out some video. I've done some research. And I got to tell you straight out. By the way, we're on the road today. You're taking a road trip with Healthcare Sucks. Um, the One World Order is definitely kicking in. Hold on, I'm shifting. I gotta keep you down there till I get to third. Uh, so, I've done a lot of research and I've come to the conclusion, one more shift, we gotta get fourth, guys, um, that the whole thing behind this is definitely the one world order. Um, I, I'm hoping you guys get my notifications when I review videos and I send them out uh, because I, there's one guy that does prophecy um, and then of course I do Pastor Paul and I do uh, Mike from around the world Council of Time and of course Dabu, Marfugel, the great VP Earthwatch and then of course we got a little Earthquake detectivism going on with uh, Dutch Sense. By the way, I suggest you guys keep an eye on the earthquakes right now. It's crazy. It's definitely picking up again. So back to One World Order. Um, a lot of big money right now is pushing things and manipulating things. Anywhere from having bricks dropped off in the middle of the street for protests to starting new schools in other countries that are trickling and going to be in the U.S. that are things you would not want your child to go to. Believe me. Um, and it, I think we all kind of know what the One World Order and it, it brings into Agenda 21, Bill Gates, uh, vaccination, WO, 2020-060606, which is World Order. 2020, can't make this up, 0666. Um, but as far as the one world order goes, it's changing us all into eventually one paying plastic money, which we're heading that way. Um, as far as the vaccinations go, I read something from Dabu77. Go check it out. He, uh, I put it out there for you guys. He's covering... Uh, mandatory vaccinations coming for the coronavirus uh, in Denver, Colorado. In Colorado. Not me. Uh-uh. You guys want to do something like that? That's why it, healthcare sucks. We don't candy coat. First time here, uh, we tell it how it is, guys. We're not going to candy coat it. We're just going to tell it as, and you make the decisions. And speaking of, take a look at the road. We're not even open yet. I'm on my way into Lincoln City, which is the beach, basically, the coast. And just look at the traffic. Look at the traffic. Bumper. To, well, not bumper to bumper, but car after car after car. Oh, we got a little break. And car after car after car after car. And people on bikes. You know what I'm waiting for, guys? We're going to stop and check the mail, so it's going to be the end of this first part of the video. But um, when all the protesters start spreading what's going on, and I covered it, I would say at least 30 to 50 percent are not are not wearing masks. If if the mask thing is a big bunch of hooey, anyway, guys. Go back and watch my earlier videos, and you got CDC and other organizations saying that the uh, the masks are useless. Period. And you know, I watched another show from a doctor, a professor, who says um, coughing and spitting in those things all day long 
you're still putting it out unless you have an N95 and even with an N95 you could be spreading. In other words, you're going to have a mic microfilter mask. That's what that's what an N95 is. So with that, this thing about the mask is a bunch of hooey, guys. It's it's you know, uh I'm not going to jump in and get crucified over this, but I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh there was a president prior to this president and one of his religions was the same as Omar's and yeah I'm coding this so it doesn't get pulled you know what religion I'm talking to and they had tried to make everybody wear masks at one time hell no we wouldn't have part of it as a matter of fact uh, we just were so hardcore on not having any part of that where are we now people are we voluntarily wearing masks and it's not going to protect you. Another thing with the gloves. Let's laugh about that together one time. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Think about it. Put the gloves on. You're at work. You're touching money. You're touching people's food. I'm scanning it. I'm scanning your food with the... I just touched money of the guy before you. Germs. Money is the most diseased thing out there. As a matter of fact, look it up yourselves. Epidemics can come from touching money there's drugs disease everything you can think of on money plus even on other items that you're touching in between and you're touching yourself and touching your mask touching your mask if you're worried about the salivas and spit and spitty ones remember spitty ones like a little faucet well it goes through the mask comes out you're still getting spitty ones so with that, there's a lot of things going on behind the curtain. Remember how I told you, watch over here, watch over there, listen all around, make your own decisions. That's what I have been doing. And I put together, I'm not kidding you, we're never, and this is going to hurt some people's feelings, and I, I love you all, but I'm not going to candy coat it. We are never, ever going to get back to what we have. Any concerts in the future are going to be like you've never been to before. Any shows, movie theaters, get-togethers, unless it's this protest thing, which is all okay. It's all okay. It's the safest protest in the world. Don't you know that? Well, I got to tell you something. If you're worried about the spreading of things, this protest is the most spreading that we've seen since the epidemic started. And I'm going to put to you. You have not even seen a touch of the iceberg. As to what's going to be coming through this summer. In the beginning of winter this year. Because of this. Because of this. Whatever you want to call it. Now we've got the other side. That basically say. Oh this is no worse than the flu and etc. In a lot of the case, in looking at the numbers, you're right. It's no worse than the flu. But you've got to go back and remember, this came from China. This is a bioengineered weapon. It has already mutated several times. The last mutation that anybody's talking about, it started going into the kids and looking like um, measles, mumps, etc. Wait till this thing crossbreeds with another disease, guys. You have no idea what kind of Wuha monster is is out there. So I I agree about the part about numbers are like fluish, maybe so, but this is not. This is not the flu. This is came from a laboratory. I and others have showed you the light. We brought you the truth. Even at one point, it was all over the air. The only one that says it came in and the guilty party is China now is the president. And he's being crucified again for telling the truth on, on that matter. On that matter. On that matter. That sounds like BLM, Black Lives Matter. Well, I say all lives matter. Yours, mine, your dogs, your cats. All lives matter. Not just do all lives matter. But we all matter. We all have thoughts. We all have opinions. We have lives that have been taken from us. 
we're our lives and our liveliness. Our liveliness. You people that want to go back to work now, that say, you know, let's just throw off all the bans and, you know, all the uh, lockdown. Where are you heading to the streets? Where are you with the protests? Where are you protesters going out and talking about China releasing the worldwide weapon? The hate weapon. What they did is worse than any person getting beat down by a cop ever. They have murdered how many people? Thousands. I'm not saying that what the cops do is right or wrong. It's definitely wrong as far as abusing their powers, guys, and stuff. I'm with you. But if you're going to complain about one person, and this has been engineered from day one. Ativa, Fativa, you know who I'm talking about. And other groups, Soro, etc., Gates, all these people have engineered this protest and built it up and pumped it up to what it is. Plus, you got people that have been locked in their homes. They're going to, when they get a reason to go out and party and go off, they're going to do it. So I come to you, the protesters. I come to you, the people that want to go back to work. Get together. Protest. Make your voice heard over something that needs to be addressed. China. China. Address it. Until I see BLM, other organizations talking about China, I'm not jumping on board with anything or any protests. There's a good protest that could be started too that I've been trying to get you guys to get up off your butts and off the couch for years. Medication cuts to seniors, disabled, mentally ill, people with chronic pain. They have literally killed people by cutting their pain meds. Yeah, there's always going to be addiction. There's always going to be people that are going to abuse meds. But many, many people were good apples, never abused their meds, and they are suffering. And if they get a few pills or whatever treatment for their pain, if the government even pays for it anymore, it's, it's not enough to address the pain. Many people are committing suicide from that, too. Are you guys protesting for that? Not Team 99. Not you viewers that have a heart and that are good people. I'm talking to the ones that are complaining out there about this protest over one person issue. This complaining that I can't open my business. The complaining that the Wuha is not real. Where will you people stand? And for mental health, it's just as bad. They have the reason mental health is at an epidemic situation is I've done that end of the medication, guys. It takes a benzo or a, a real drug, let's call it, with these wannabe, fakey, slow-acting, if they even act type drugs for mental ill. In other words, it takes several tools in the toolbox. Where are you guys for that? Why? Many of you, if you live with a mentally ill person in your lives, or a loved one, or a relationship, of uh, your wife, your daughter, your son, you know what I'm talking about. They're suffering. You're suffering. And I'm fired up right now. Oh boy, am I fired up. This is my pet peeve. Medication cuts are wrong, guys. You know why they did it? I'm going to tell you right now. It's for the money. They did it for the billions of dollars, guys. It's ridiculous. You notice we're not talking about it right now? And they're not restoring it, though. But we're not talking about it. Their hands aren't out there. You know, let's talk about another one. Climate control. The green agenda. It took how many months in the wor world's fixing itself? The ozone hole is fixing itself? Wait, months? Not decades, not years. That's another scam to get your money. So you know what? As we move forward, I urge you. If you're going to protest, let's protest over the BS. The lies that we have been told. The lies, guys. Lies, guys. Somebody can write me a little flinger about that or a hat. 
Yeah, I still take donations, but you know what? I don't want them unless it's a nice little hat or a shirt. And you're welcome to throw whatever slogan on you want, as long as it's... Even if it's a little offensive, I'll wear it. As long as it's not... You know what I mean. There are edges and borders. So with that, I want to say I love you guys. I'm at the post office box. I'm picking up stuff today. I'll put my P.O. box on there if you want to send a, you know, healthcare, you suck. Send me a card that says, healthcare, you suck. Hey, I love it. I'll put it on my wall. The shop is almost rebuilt. The studio, I mean, and my shop. Uh, I've been working my butt off to pay the bills, guys. It's not been easy for old healthcare either, but I'm surviving. I am going to help you guys with the bartering thing. I have gave you some tips, and I hope you have been out there utilizing. Hang on. Just checking to make sure the camera's still running. Nothing's worse than making a video, guys, and you're talking to yourself. So, uh, with that, I want to say, guys, I just gave you dozens of good reasons to get upset or to protest or to make your voices heard. Call your senators. Call your governors. No matter what side of the fence you are, and remember this. We are all Team 99. We are the 99%. This Occupy movement that was in Wall Street years and years ago, they let it waste. They let it disappear. You guys right now have the power. Don't let some goon with a gun, which is kind of what's going on in Seattle right now, take over a good thing that you could do. You could make progress with this. You could move forward on all the issues I just gave you. And we could make the world a better place to live in. And we could stomp out one world order, one world agenda, agenda 21. We could at least have a fighting chance if we stand up now together. And I'm not talking about violence. I'm not talking about breaking windows and beating people up and all that. And standing in front of cars, come on guys, that's like stupid. Don't go running out in front of vehicles. I mean, people have to get to work. Oh, oh there was a spitty one. Sorry, I apologize. People have jobs. People have lives. What if you had to go get your kid and you all of a sudden there's this big old protest they wouldn't let you through. And if you opened your window and said, hey man, I got to go get my kid. And you're the wrong color or you're the, dressed wrong. Or your car don't look a certain way. And you get beat down or your car gets beat the shit out of. Maybe you don't have the... You can't afford... Maybe you have liability. You can't afford to fix your car. So have some respect if you're out there. If you're going to protest and block roads, go to the freeways at least. Oh my God, don't block the cities. Or just block like four blocks. Like, you know, give or take. And let people through if they... They, and don't beat people that are in their cars, guys. It's just wrong, man. What, what, what? Put yourself in their place. How would you like it if you... The only job you had is a little job at 7-Eleven, let's say, man. And you had to get to work. And you had to get through this. And they wouldn't let you through. And you didn't get there in time. And now your kids, your family is going to starve. And this stimulus bullshit. Yeah, I said bullshit. Stimulus BS is not even a drop in the bucket. Let's remember that the banks and Wall Street got like 1.5 trillion. And the rest of that money went to big money, big businesses. And then they fired people. Let's not forget. We're on the other side. We are Team 99. We are the 99%. Get off your asses. Let's get together, brothers and sisters. Democrat, Republican, Independent. It doesn't matter what letter you want to put in front of your name. We're all, unless you're ultimately rich, you're in. And then it, there's some of those people that are with us. I'm not talking about the Soros guys and White War, or, uh, Warren Buffett and whatever. All those guys are rich pukes. Those guys do nothing. You know what? And plus, I looked into it. The Common Sense Show. Go over there and watch his thing. He broke down Black Lives Matter. You guys want to do the Black Lives Matter? Look at where your money goes, guys. Clinton Foundation, Barack Obama, uh, this goon that can't even remember like me right now, Biden, 
criminal daddy and son. I think it's like 90% of your funds or more go to these goons. If you if you do start a Black Lives Matter, let's just say for one second, any organization, and you're giving 90% to the Democrats, the Republicans, or anybody, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you guys that are out there on the streets letting it happen. Look at the numbers. Look at where your money goes, guys. You're being taken for a ride. They think you're an idiot, and you're not. A lot of you people really love, man. You have from the heart. You cared about this guy getting his head slammed. So let's let's take this moment together, brothers and sisters. We're all, if you cut me, is my blood not the same color as you, man? If you cut me, do I not bleed red blood? Yes. Did, did Floyd not bleed red blood? Yes. Did others that were before him not bleed? bleed red blood yes we're all the same Jesus loves you loves me loves us all man all you gotta do is ask and he forgives you he will protect you there's some bad things coming guys this one world order gets in there it's just the beginning it's just the beginning so with that this is part one you might go whoa what the hell health care well, yeah, well, what the hell, healthcare? I've been working. I've been watching. I hope you guys have. And Team 99, you're awesome. Love you, man. I know you've been on it. Share, spread. Keep on your people that don't listen. Tell them to look out the window, man. Open your eyes. If you're watching MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, all these bull-oney fake news companies you're not getting the news go out and read through YouTube news pick up your computer go through and read the stuff and then if you think it's interesting go out there and read more in the story be a reporter be the reporter you be the reporter don't let people tell you how to think or what to do you guys are too smart for that We've already been told what to do. We've been locked down for a long time, guys. Everything we love is slowly but surely been taken or being taken away from us. And they're giving us crumbs. Stimulus crumbs. Oh, we're going to let you guys go back on the beach for a few days. Crumbs. We're going to let you fish. Fishing crumbs. Hunting crumbs. Park crumbs. I'm tired of the crumbs. I don't care what country you're in. Any country you're watching this. It applies to you. Governments suck. There's not a government out there that cares about you. So with that, I love. I care about you. I love you. And if I offended some people, write in and tell me how I offended. Tell me how I offended you. Or maybe I got you off your asses. And I got you motivated to go do what you need to be doing now. It's not too late. We're not in chains. Like people were a long time ago. You're worried about something. Get off your knee. Stand up. Do you not realize by taking a knee and kneeling down like this. Where that came from. The rich made that up. Because they want you to kneel. Do you not remember Rich, kneel before a king and a queen. Stand up. We did away with that crap. There's no king of of uh, many countries. And even if there is, why would you kneel before somebody? Unless it's Jesus or God. Get up. Stand up. It took us a long time. I don't care what color you are. I've got really great black friends. Straight out. I'm just going to say it. Because we're brothers, man. We talk just like... Like this. You know, like I'm talking to you. We have conversations. We love each other. We hug each other, man. We have heart for each other. And you know what? They're not kneeling down. They know that the kneel thing is bullshit. It's BS, guys. Yeah, I said BS now like three times. I'm probably going to get blocked or get in trouble. But you know what? There's some inspiration in this conversation today. There's some love. 
This is not a hate call. This is not a hate video. This is because you can make a positive change. We've been fed that change thing by Obama and other, all the presidents, all of them say change, change. Where's the positive change? That's the change you want, the change you need. Positive change. All right. And remember, healthcare sucks. And I will be back. Because I'll be back. And I am. Over and out.